Hi boys and girls and welcome to Stories Read Aloud. My name's Beck, and today we have another fun Thomas and Friends engine adventure book to read to you. This one is called Diesel. This story is about Diesel, who loves to play tricks on other engines. But when my train slipped off the track one day, would Diesel rescue a steamy? Percy wasn't well one day. His axles ached and his boiler wouldn't bubble. The fat controller came to see Percy. You'll need to go to the steamworks to be mended, he said. Another engine will do your work until you feel better. The only engine that could come and do Percy's jobs was Diesel. The last time that Diesel had worked on the fat controller's railway, he had caused trouble and been sent home in disgrace but the Fat Controller had no choice but to ask Diesel to help again. The next day, Thomas wasn't happy to see Diesel. Diesel always played tricks on Thomas. Take these trucks to the harbour, Thomas said to Diesel, and no silly tricks. Yes, Thomas, Diesel smiled. I do what I'm told. The troublesome trucks teased Diesel. Yes, Thomas, whatever you say, Thomas, they said in Diesel's voice. Diesel was cross. He biffed the trucks as hard as he could. The trucks crashed straight through the buffers and off the track. Although Diesel had only meant to scare the trucks, he said, that will teach you to laugh at me. The fat controller was angry with Diesel. You will go back to your own railway, he said crossly. There will be no more trouble on my railway. Diesel didn't dare say a word. He was glad to be going home. Later that day, Thomas was puffing up a big hill when his wheels began to slip and slide on some oil on the track. Suddenly, Thomas's train slipped backwards down the hill. Clarabelle's wheels rolled off the end of the track and sank into the mud. Thomas couldn't move, no matter how hard he puffed. They were stuck. Diesel was at the next station, waiting to go back to his railway. He laughed when he heard about Thomas's accident, until he learnt that Thomas was blocking the track. Honking horns, said Diesel crossly. I'll have to help Thomas or I can't get home. Engineers cleared up the oil and put down sand so that Diesel could grip the rails. Diesel was coupled to Thomas and wooden sleepers were put under Clarabelle's wheels. Thank you for coming, Diesel, smiled Thomas. Diesel heaved with all his strength. Slowly and carefully, he pulled Thomas and his carriages back onto the track. Well done, Diesel, said Thomas. You have been a really useful engine. Diesel smiled. He liked feeling helpful instead of causing trouble. Diesel pulled Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle over the hill and back to the station. Good work, Diesel, said the fat controller. You are welcome on my railway anytime. Diesel smiled. He was happy to be going home but was even happier that one day he could come back to work for the Fat Controller. And that's the end of our story. Thanks for watching Stories Read Aloud. Be sure to check out some more of our Thomas and Friends engine adventure stories in the link below. Have a great day.